we saw the drone swarm problem, we said, this is a big problem. That's the type of problem that EPRIS loves. And so we jumped in, we've attacked it, we've used big data in combination with some of the most advanced phased array electronics type of work to provide a solution on not just counter drones, but counter drone swarms. CEO Andy Lowry and the company he leads has taken on the challenge. Eperus develops and delivers high power microwave systems with unprecedented counter electronics effects, all in the name of protecting against emerging threats. So our job is to build systems and things that defend people, that make sure that they don't get hurt when they're over there. And that way, those folks can continue to defend freedom and defend sort of the things that we represent as a country. When you're thinking about many, many things attacking, you want shields of energy versus one-on-one. -on -one. We attacked the problem from that way, and that was our first real big flagship product line. Vice President of Operations John Jewell introduces us to that very product, the Drone Destroyer. This is our third generation Leonidas systems, our flagship product. It's the one that we've been developing for the past several years. This array, what we're looking at, it has a beam that comes out of it. And so the pulse of energy will come out of the face of the beam in the direction that you face the array. So you can cover a 360 degree field of view for potential targets and areas that you want to protect. We have both internal test capabilities here at our Torrance based headquarters where we do power effects testing. Our primary customer currently is the Army. We also have a contract with the Office of Navy Research and the Marine Warfare Center Labs. The company moved to Torrance in late 2021, its third move in three years. In 2018, the company was founded, a very small group of people that had this amazing idea. The name Epirus came from the mythical bow that was carried by a Greek god that had a never ending quiver of arrows. The same concept applies to the Epirus equipment or the Epirus product, which is a system that's a high power microwave system that has a never ending quiver of electric bullets. As long as you can feed it with an electrical source, you can fire a high power microwave pulses at targets with a never ending quiver. We're standing in the amplifier module line currently. This is one of the most important parts of our product. This is the solid state microwave amplifier module that we assemble and test. We call this the Coliseum. This is our anechoic chamber where we do a lot of our RF testing. We can't exactly show you what we're testing, why we're testing, and how we're testing, but this is a very important part of our final integration and test phase of our product. Lowry says this technology saves lives around the world. We have real demand in Israel. We have real demand in the Middle East. We have real demand in Ukraine. Soldiers are dying. People are dying because of drones. And we need to find a solution to that in order to protect our warfighters. And so we need to get the stuff to the field as fast as we can, and we're here to support that. In addition to working with the United States military, Epirus also focuses on building relationships at home. Uh, we started to partner with Senra, new player in the cable and interconnect business. The Lee and I's program uses a lot of power, and everything that is power and electricity needs a lot of wiring, aka a lot of wire harnesses. How we supply it is that they will design this component that needs to go into their program, the Leonidas itself, and we will manufacture the wire harnesses right here with these machines and deliver it right down the street so that they can meet their schedule and the high quality performance they need. In addition to that, we partnered with a local business to do all of our electrical distribution in the building. We've helped them with the installation of all of their electrical needs from a 4,000 amp service to lighting across the board, whatever they want, we can get it for them. Jewel thanks city leaders for a smooth transition to the biggest city in the South Bay. Mayor George Chen has been a huge champion for us. An interesting fact about George is he worked at Raytheon doing radar technology, very, very advanced radar technology for airborne systems, which is very similar to some of the AESA actively scanned array technology that we're using today in our Leonidas system. I mean, he knows many of our employees, so we'll definitely have a good relationship with the leadership of the city. Jewel also says another why Torrance reason is having great options to play hard when the work is done. We definitely uh, like to uh, visit the local breweries. A couple of the locations where you might see our employees at would be Monkish and or Smog City. They're very close by and, and really love the product that they're producing. It's always fun to go and celebrate a major milestone or a birthday or a team event. About 150 people work out of this 100,000 square foot facility. Epris also has two other locations, one in Seattle and another in the D.C. area. 
all of its employees are working towards the same mission, to power and protect the problems of our world. Some of our key leaders live here in Torrance. CTO Dan Coltrans, a longtime resident of Torrance. He right now is sort of our legacy founder. The number of PhDs here is significant. It's double digit percentages walking around with technical PhDs and me, I get to lead it all.